screen. Okay. Hello. Julie Cliff, professional organizer at Space and Time. And I'm Christy Flora from Flora Norda, uh, a productivity coach based in Melbourne. And today we're going to be talking to you about being productive, productive, mm -hmm. staying connected, making life as normal as possible if you found yourself um, working from home unexpectedly uh, in these changing times at the moment. So we're going to go through about nine points to help you, as I said, keep productive, connected, and life as normal as possible. Christy, mm -hmm. do you want to kick us off? Yeah, so working from home, it sounds like a dream to many people, but really it can be quite difficult to make that transition. Uh, what we find is that we are actually our own worst distraction. There's, there's multiple things at home that you're not having to contend with at work. So there's a, it's a whole new um, ballpark, if you will. So the first thing to do is it, may, it might sound really awesome to get up and do your work in your PJs, but really what you want to do is continue that structure. So, so keep the alarm clock set to that time that you would be normally getting up at. Get out of bed, hit the shower, have your breakfast. So important to have a good meal the first thing and, and you know feel charged for the day. Enjoy your cup of coffee and remember that you would be having that commute time into work. So take your time during this part of the day to set yourself up for success for the rest of that day and get dressed. Um, I often put on lipstick is, even when I'm working at home just to like feel like, okay, I've arrived, I'm here and I'm sitting down at my desk to, um, yeah, to work now. So keeping that structure is really important um, just so your brain gets into gear and you know that it's time to work. Yep. Yeah, I visited a friend uh, yesterday and their son is home from school at the moment but he still got up and put his school uniform on just so he feels like he's still doing school work. So that I uh, think it's a great idea to get up and get ready for the day. Yeah, yeah. So the next point we're going to talk about is, oh, with, oh you said breakfast. Take yeah. your time. Enjoy. Uh, and, yep, and um, just get, get, get ready for your day. You said about taking time and um, you might even want to start a new routine, get up a little bit earlier and get into your day. Do some exercise mm -hmm. before before you get started into work. But the the next thing I thought that we sh we should have a good think about is what are you going to do when you sit down at your desk? What's your to do list? What sort of your top three things that you need to get done that day? Mm -hmm. And and then you know any more than that would be a, a bonus. But it's important to set your intentions at the start of the day. Um, being productive and having that little to-do list beside you as you're going along to keep you um, keep you focused during the day. As you said, it can be quite difficult for for you to work uh, from home if you haven't had to do it before, and can be um, quite distracting. So keep that to-do list close to you. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to say about turning off notifications on your phone, on your laptop. Turn off Facebook notifications, turn off your email notifications, any others that might go bing, bing and distract you. Uh, keep it simple, keep yourself focused and um, without those little things because, of course, as soon as it dings, that's when you want to go whoo, scurry off sideways and see that little cat video. So try and keep yourself um, focused. Mm -hmm. um, did you want to talk about the um, getting into the day and the Pomodoro yeah. technique and some ways to keep yourself on track. Yeah, yeah. So getting stuck into your day, um, as Julie was saying about setting your goal for the day, that intention of what top three things am I actually going to um, have done by the end of the day. Um, that one way to really tackle those top three is to, as Brian Tracy um, in his book, Eat That Frog says, eat the ugliest one first. So mm. you, know, you might have three not so pleasant tasks to do, or they might all all be pleasant. Uh, I hope for you that they are pleasant, but choose that ugly, ugly task first and get it out of the way. It also just makes the day um, not seem quite as long if 
if you've, you've ticked off a few of those easier tasks and then you're coming up to that really hard one. So um, yeah, getting stuck into your day by looking at your top three and knocking off the hardest one first really helps set you up for success. Uh, yeah, Julie mentioned the Pomodoro uh, technique, otherwise known as the tomato timer technique. So that's um, where you set the, either you can use an online version, <coughs> excuse me, um, online version of the tomato timer, or you can, um, if you actually have a kitchen timer yourself, set it for 25 minutes, knuckle down, do as much as you can, stand up when it goes off, have a break, and then either reset it um, uh, as many times as you need to to, to get the task mm -hmm. done. Um, yep. Yeah, I think in this part, I was, yeah. That 25 minutes is the traditional amount but you, uh, amount of time, but you can set it for whatever you like. I often do my, uh, myself 50 minutes work, head down, backside up, and mm -hmm. then a 10-minute But you can, as you said, reset it for 25, whatever works for you, um, just mm -hmm. to be keeping, um, keeping yourself focused, whatever works for you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, the next thing I had that we were going to talk about in, in, along those lines of using a timer was even trying to get a couple of jobs done during the day um, uh, while you're at home. Don't get too sidetracked. <laughs> Don't start procrastinating and clean up your desk and clean the whole house. It's more like, okay, well, let's put a load of washing on. And again, you could use the timer of the washing machine. I think my cycle of my washing machine is about an hour. Mm -hmm. So you could get quite a bit of work done in an hour uh, while that washing machine's on and the break could be a 10 minutes of hanging it out but again don't get sidetracked yeah. but that would be a way of you know saying you know getting some jobs done while you're at home as well um, but just keep it within within reason um, so that should be day yeah Sorry, just, Chris. On, just on that point um, it's really uh, I find it's just changing the changing your view or um, your, the environment that you're in. So maybe, yeah, you've put on the load of laundry, you're really going mm. at something, and then the timer goes off and you, you need that break or um, just to refresh and you come back with some new ideas. So it's really great because you're, um, you're getting things done that need to be done around the house as well as refreshing your brain and coming back to that piece of work. and. Um, yep bringing those ideas back to it and that freshness yeah yes yeah and you were just touching on the idea of break breaks making sure you're having a lunch break um again you might put the timer on for that get outside exactly what you're saying change of scenery mm. you know schedule an afternoon tea if that's what you would normally do at work um talking about you know current situation at the moment where we might be a little bit more isolated than normal you might want to flick somebody a quick text or a, a, a something like that um just while you're having a little break as well you were telling me a, um, a great story the other day about the virtual uh water cooler christy yeah yeah and um i read a newsletter actually came through to my inbox about um creating virtual wa water cooler moments at home um so this is like when you when you're working in an office environment and and you know you happen to go make a cup of tea or you need to go to the printer and then you end up chatting to someone about the most recent episode of maths or um you know or or the current climate um whatever else is going on and um, just that refresh and connecting with someone helps you uh, helps revive you back into the work and, and gives you that little bit of um, um, uh, yeah a, re a refresh back into what you're needing to focus on. So mm. when you're working from home, you're often yeah quite isolated, and and you can create these virtual uh, cooler water cooler moments by reaching out to a friend, such as like Julie and I do every every week. We have um. We have our water cool, water cooler moment um, over, over our FaceTime like this, and um, or you can yeah shoot someone a text or or you know have a have a few moments looking at a Facebook feed and and flick someone um, an article that you've read or those kind of moments that create social connectivity um, which can be kind of lacking uh, when working from home. I think that was about yeah. it about water cooler. Yeah. 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 That sounds. Good. 
Um, and then the afternoon session that you could call it at home after your lunch break, after a couple of uh, virtual water cooler moments, you know, your afternoon session could be scheduled similarly to your morning session, using your timer, breaking it down into your tasks, what you want to get done, and focused on that um, to-do list. Um, and you were going to talk about some yeah. other techniques in the afternoon? Yeah, yeah. So, so what I find, I, I help a lot of clients identify when their energy cycle is highest. So when they're most able to do creative work or when they're able to really do their deep thinking work. Um, and what I find is that a lot of people, myself included, in the afternoon when you're starting to wind down almost, that it's best to have those, those easier items um, for you to tinker with or things that like, you know, that need to be, need to get done like filing or um, I actually, I quite like numbing out to doing my invoices, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, so saving those things for the afternoon so you can take a bit of a mental break. So, uh, but you're, you're still achieving stuff. So that is called proactive procrastination. And um, mm -hmm. you're, you're procrastinating in a way, but it's, it's very useful time still, but you're just, yeah, identifying that your brain's not going to be quite that capacity and you're giving yourself a break and doing the easier tasks that mm. still need to be done. Yeah, definitely. So uh, invoicing and a few other things that you mentioned there might be a little bit boring. Uh, certainly very important to keep the money coming in and um, often with something that you don't want to do, when you've actually sat down and put your timer on and you're getting stuck into it, it's never ever as bad as you think it's going to be. So, um, you know, get, get those jobs done. I like that idea of being proactive and keeping yourself going in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other points before we sort of, we're going to wind down at five o'clock when the day finishes? Yeah. Uh, no, that's, um, yeah, hopefully by this time you've had a really great day and you've ticked off your top three and you're feeling fulfilled and um, you've had a good lunch break and, and the day is feeling kind of semi-normal um, yes. to that structure you've put in place. And then, um, yeah, you had a really good saying around this time. I'd like to use the idea of the, the 5 p.m. bus. It actually came from a baby sleep expert that talks about catching the 7 p.m. bus to get the kids uh, to bed work work your day backwards so that everything falls in line so that you can put your baby to sleep at 7 and then mm. you know you've got time to yourself so I like to call it the 5 p.m. bus just like you would if you were working in town and wanted to run and grab the 5 10 you know train home mm. uh, still when you're working from home still work as though you're going to knock off at five o'clock so maybe 15 minutes before have a look at your to-do list if there's nothing uh, if there's something sorry that you haven't done transfer it to your to-do list the next day mm -hmm. give yourself a tidy up so everything's put back in place ready for, and clean and neat and tidy ready for you to come back in the next uh in next morning so you can hit the ground running mm -hmm. same thing that you can um, it might even be putting the laptop away if you're working at the kitchen table put it away so that it's not distracting you and you know just quickly creep over there and check those emails but um you know try and give yourself that brain space and that that break um by knocking off properly and um tidying up getting your to-do list ready for the next day so i think that's just a, a nice way as i as i said dash out the door to catch that 510 train mm -hmm. home Mm. Uh, and then you've got some time to spend with your family um, in the evening as part of that community, that connection that we'll need to, to keep uh, important at this time. Yeah. Do you want to talk about knocking off and yeah, uh, your downtime? Yeah, well, I am. Um, um, yeah, no knocking off at the end of the day and packing up. I've got a screen here that um, then I pull across my little area. So then I'm like, okay, this is done. That was a day well done. And, and it's time to, you know, think in a different space. Um, then I see there if my housemates are around, I have a chat with them, or even just make some time for yourself to catch up on your latest 
the you know, latest binging show on Netflix or watch um, read a good book or just to have some downtime to actually let yourself rest and, and prepare for the next day. Um, mm. Super important. Um, and yeah, this is a great time too in the evenings to have those lengthier um, chats with friends because um, you may be working from home, but you're still working. So that that took a little while for, for me to train my, my family. Um, you know, that yes. I may be at home, but I'm still working. So I still need to maintain those boundaries around when to have those social conversations. So um, indulge in them in the evening. It, it sounds like a good plan and try and keep away from the other channels that might be trying to, you know, pass all the bad news on to us or try and keep it light, keep it upbeat and um, just be a bit conscious about the social media we're consuming as well in the evenings. Yes. Yeah, so the last I had on my list is sort of could have gone at the start of the day as well, but it was preparing your lunch and your snacks the night before, just as though you would as if you were going to work. Mm -hmm. um, next day, decide when you want to do it as soon as you knock off that night or after dinner, whenever you would normally prepare your lunch to take to work, mm -hmm. get that ready for the day too, so that you're not standing at the fridge wondering what you should eat at lunchtime when you should really only have half an hour or an hour, depending on your normal work day, that type of lunch break and, and snacks mm -hmm. you know, and water and as healthy as we can to stop that temptation of just going to the fridge and, you know, cooking up a, a whole whole meal that you don't particularly need. So that was the sort of thing I thought you could finish off the night before, ready for the next day to kick it all off again. Mm, yeah. Any other yeah. things that you would add to help us be productive, keep us connected and life as normal as possible, Christy? No, I think that that's a really great start for us then. And I think, yeah, um, if, if you are new to working from home or if you're, you're feeling a little stale, uh, I hope one of these nine tips helps you in, in a you know, refresh that direction and, and really helps you get on top of some of that work that you're, you're avoiding. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah I that should be quite a productive time for people. Um, and even if there's their work is slowing down in any particular way, there's particularly if they run their own business like we do as well, that maybe it's time to write some blog posts or refresh the website or to use your time productively like that if you're working for yourself. So I think it can just be, um, you know, productive time for us to be um, using our time wisely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. I think that wraps it up, Christy. Sure does. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.